good design is as little design as possible. I couldn't agree more. We're very often involved in these projects where we're actually trying to make this impact, this massive change, and most of the organizations are just not ready to actually tackle that level of impact with that level of change management because they either don't have the, um, well, the, the resources to do it, they don't have the knowledge to do it, they don't have the expertise or the experience to do it, their processes are too complex to actually get that kind of a level of impact done, uh, they don't have the technology, there's a lot of excuses to actually do that. And there's a reason because they've been doing this for a sustained period of time and for them it's difficult to uh, well to be flexible in that matter so therefore i think that when it comes to design as little design as possible goes a long way and when it comes to innovating and, and solving some of the issues it's not just about solving the um, the, the issues for the customer uh, or only about you know providing new values and services and more money and cash to the actual business it's about finding that little sliver of hope when it comes to designing something that's really um, well simple to, um, to, to, the, to the end user, to the end customer, and delivers on the business value. But the biggest impact and the biggest uh, difficulty when it comes to designing is not to you know, jump ahead and try to make this massive impact with massive resources and, and, you know, and change everything. I think the biggest difficulty is to actually fit ourselves into these um, well, creative constraints and on that basis try to come up with as little design and as much impact as possible. So something I would leave you with to have a think about is good design is as little design as possible. I'll see you around.